90% is good enough. When you first start speaking at a Toastmasters club, you probably feel that the other members are so much better than you. It seems as if it will take forever to get anywhere like that. Here's the good news. There is an easy, quick way to become an excellent public speaker in just three or four practice speeches. You will have learned and be able to use with confidence about 90% of the techniques used by top speakers. Is 90% good enough for you? You can reach that in less than six months at a Toastmasters club. You think it's impossible? Well, Give it a go and you will be amazed. Stories make the best speeches for beginners and for experienced speakers. Base your speech on a story from your own experience. Preferably recent, best, very recent. You can get more detail from what follows from a web page I will point to you later. The advice I'm going to give you now is brief and it works. The speech will be in three parts. First, start with a simple statement of the point or meaning or significance of your speech. Second, tell a story which illustrates the statement, the point, the meaning, etc. And last, end by restating the point or meaning. In your preparation, there are two important parts. First, select the incident or event. There are suggestions for this on the web page. Second, work out a significance for that incident. Again, there are suggestions on the web page. The second part, deciding on the point or the significance, is what, is what makes it a speech in terms of public speaking. It will probably be the hardest part of your preparation. When you're speaking, use the methods employed by good storytellers. Look around at the audience. Make them feel you are speaking to them personally. Set the scene. Describe places, facial expressions and physical movements. Use pauses to heighten interest, particularly before the punchline, the final part of the story. Include conversation and report direct speech the actual words spoken. And now, some do's and don'ts. Write some things to do. You can check out why from the website. Do use incidental time for preparation. Driving to and fro from work is a good time. Weeding the garden is an excellent time. Washing the dishes is a valuable time. Use time when your mind is reasonably free because you are doing a regular activity that doesn't require much of your thinking effort. Do put your speaking effort into communicating directly with the audience rather than struggling to get the details perfect. They won't know if you've left something out. Do use silence to handle momentary gaps in your memory. Use a powerful pause. And now some don'ts, and you can check why if you want to from the website. Don't write out your speech. Don't use 
Notes. One small palm card should be your only concession to panic. There's a good reason for that. Don't apologise for any part of your speech or any part of your presentation. Use the timing lights to judge the length of your speech. Aim to finish approximately when the red light comes on. The green light indicates that you should start to get ready to close off. The amber light is a warning to complete the story and to end by restating your point. When you finish at the red light, look around at the audience, pause and wait for the applause. It will come. If you would like more detail about this advice, have a look at a web page I have posted. You will find it at toastmasterswa.net slash public speaking help. There are no spaces in that. Then look for public speaking techniques and for personal experience speeches. There's much more detailed material there to help you. If you use personal experiences in the way I have suggested, along with the standard techniques like good stance, direct eye contact with the audience and lots of pauses, you will quickly learn how to entertain audiences, to become comfortable in front of them and to project a confident, competent image of yourself. It's quick, it's easy, and it gets you to around 90% of the skill level of top speakers. 90% is good enough for me. Is it good enough for you?